Mm-hmm. So what do you do if your cover designer or your book formatter closes their business, but you need to make edits to your book? This happened to me and it happened to several other indie authors this year uh, when formatted books closed their doors. It was a huge loss to the indie author community because they did great work. But what do you do when that happens? Stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK. I'm an author and I love sharing my insights about all things books and publishing with you. Before I get into today's topic, don't forget to hit subscribe. You'll be notified every week as I release new videos about publishing, making a career being an author, and now being a mompreneur. At the top of every video, I'm letting you know who this is for. I've been self-publishing since 2015 and the majority of videos on this channel are about self-publishing and indie authors. Last year in 2023, I signed with an agent and we're hoping to get my first book traditionally published um, this year. So I'd let you know who it's for. Um, This video is definitely for indie authors because we usually are the ones who have to go out and find a cover artist, find somebody to format the book, um, and they sometimes retire or close their business or just don't communicate anymore. Um, So a couple months ago, I got a message, a comment on YouTube saying, hey, I just went to the format of books website. You mentioned them in your video. It looks like the website's down. And so immediately I reached out to the team. I've worked with them a bunch of times on my books, on client books when I was still working with clients. And I said, hey guys, like it looks like your video's down, uh, your website's down. Is everything okay? Um, And they wrote back pretty quickly and said, actually today we decided to pull the plug. We're going out of business. We're finishing all the existing projects um, and we will not be taking any new work. Really sorry you had to find out this way. We were planning to send an email next week, um, but it just happened to be that exact day uh, somebody mentioned something and I was so sad for them. They were such a great husband and wife team. Um, their their team of designers they worked with were great. They were responsive. Um, and so I knew this was going to be a big blow to the indie author community because so many people worked with them. Um they offer great prices. They did good work. And now it's like, okay, well, I had some edits I was going to need on my books. You're not taking new work anymore. What do I do? Um, so I wanted to go over that in general because whether you worked with format or books or not, whoever you work with as a professional, eventually they will retire or they will go on an extended vacation and maybe not get back to you. They might go on maternity leave and then decide, I don't want to do this job anymore. Um, They might say, you know what? Being an entrepreneur is not for me. I will gladly go back to getting a regular paycheck and deal with the corporate whatever just to not have to hustle as much. Like, There's so many reasons why somebody might choose to close their business. And when that happens, you as the author, if you don't have a means to edit, your cover because you're not a designer or your interior formatting because you're not a designer. Well, what do you do? So first and foremost, recognize this isn't about you. There could be some really serious reasons for this change and it likely wasn't an easy decision. Like don't antagonize this person or company. Don't tell them they're ruining your book launch. Like don't be a jerk. Be professional, especially in the case of formatted books when they're like, we're finishing all existing work. We're just not taking new work. Make sure that you understand when work will stop. Is this an immediate no more work being done situation or are they going to finish your contract? Um, first, you need to uh, like understand firm deadlines. And if they're stopping work and you're mid-project, okay, like would there be a partial refund? Would there be, hey, like you're going to get me the files by this date. I'm going to upload a couple days later. Can I still email you if something's wrong? Um, when is your true like I'm like this email address is going away. I'm not checking it anymore. Whatever it's going to be like understand those deadlines. So in every instance, ask for your source files. If somebody is saying, I'm no longer in business, the first question is, can I have the source files? Because that designer should understand at a minimum, you may have tweaks or edits that need to be made. And if you're no longer offering those services, that should be something that they can do. Um, Some designers charge an extra fee for source files, usually because they don't want their name on something that somebody's on editing, and maybe they don't think it looks up to their standards. That should at least be a discussion that you're having of, hey, if you can't edit this anymore for me, I need these so somebody else can. Um, whether they just started the project for you, just finished, or it's a project you did years ago, you need your source files. Um, even to make one small text edit, it's better to have the working files packaged with images and fonts, which is tech designer lingo speak, um, than to have to reformat the whole thing. 
So once you have the source files, save them in two places, on a hard drive and on the cloud. Like always, always, always have a backup. Yeah, always do that. So now you can start to plan for your next steps, right? Who would be the next formatter or cover designer? Who is somebody you can hire to make tweaks to existing files if needed? I would say in the case of if it's a company going out saying like, hey, could you put me in touch with the designer because I may want to work with them individually moving forward um, or something like that. Or if it's an individual who's just shutting down their business, you might say, hey, do you recommend anybody I could go to now that you're out of business? It's not unreasonable to think that they wouldn't have started to talk to others in the industry. Um, or you can go to another full service like a 100 covers, which is still in business and they do great cover work. They do great interior formatting now. So, so there are options out there for you as an author if this happens. Um, it stinks. It also stinks for the person who had their business. And maybe that was their dream and now they're going out of business. So realize you're not the only one who's upset by this. Um, and yeah, it's going to happen sometimes and it's going to stink. Um, but yeah, just be prepared to ask for the source files, be professional about it, understand deadlines and when work is stopping and find a replacement, which is tough when you liked your formatter. All right. What other questions do you have about self-publishing, about being an author, let me know in the comments below. That's genuinely how I generate ideas for the next video. If you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up or hit subscribe or even that shiny new thanks button. That tells YouTube you got value from this information and they can get it in front of other authors like us. Now you can go back to writing your book.